To many people, one of the most important things in the RV is TV. So where would I find my remotes? Who hid the remote? Well, we hid the remotes and we hid them up in this cubby hole. They're Velcroed to the wall up here above the entry door. So when you're looking for the remotes, you can find them. Um, on the back of each remote is labeled exactly what it's for. So you're gonna have a TV remote and you're gonna have a DVD remote. So both of those are Velcroed up there and labeled. The next step to TV watching is going to be the cable. So at many campgrounds, if you are staying at the campgrounds, they do have a coax that you can hook into. So in each of our rentals, we have the coax and we keep them right up here above the entry door. If you don't have this cubby in your motor home, it's going to be in a, uh, a cupboard directly above or next to the entry door. The other items you can find up here is we have a book called RV Made Easy, and this is an A to Z guide to using an RV. So if you're a novice, we do send this out with every rental. It's a great book for you to reference if you have questions. How do I use the refrigerator? How do I operate the oven, the stove, dump tanks, all of that. So it's a follow up to these videos in writing. This is a book that's going to have insurance information, some driving tips, questions and answers, as well as emergency contact information, including my cell phone number. <laughs> so yes, you can get a hold of me <laughs> if you have any questions. Um, right here, you've got your DVD player. Next step to the entertainment. If you want to bring the DVD for the kids to watch, please feel free to do so. Now, in order for the DVD and the TV to work, there's a switch that you have to turn on. It's right here, and this switch is going to provide power to the TV and the DVD. If you don't have power to your TV and DVD, it's probably because that switch is off. Right behind it is an antenna um, box. This is something you don't need to do anything with. The reason you don't need to do anything with is because there's actually an antenna up on the ceiling and you can turn the power on and off directly here on the antenna. You can see the blue lights. For those of you that have been around RVs for a long time, you no longer have to crank up your antenna or crank it down. So with this one, it has a directional locator here um, and an on off switch. If you're not using the antenna, it'd be a good idea to keep that off because those little lights will drain your battery down. They use about one amp per hour of power.